it's hard to find a single khani man or women with belly fat. This is primarily because of their healthy diet. While rice is their main staple food, millets and tapioca are consumed to a great extent by the entire Kani community. These seasonal wild tubers contain multinutrients and provide great strength to endure and thrive in the tough terrains of Western Ghats. Traditionally, the Kani people used to eat wild animals like samba deer, wild pig and fish from the river. With the implementation of forest laws, they have shifted their diet to fish and meat. Spices like kantari chili, pepper and turmeric are predominantly used in their food items. Using stones and veiny leaves to cook tubers and chicken is an indigenous food preparation method followed by the Kani tribe. When the Kani men venture into the forest for their livelihood, it can be tough to get water if there are no streams nearby. In such instances, they cut Odaveli creepers and get surplus water to quench their thirst. The Western Guards is a treasure trove of herbs and medicinal plants. The Kani tribe has a rich traditional knowledge of using these resources to cure a wide range of illnesses. Every Kani hamlet has a Palati, a physician, who advocates the treatment for all types of ailments. Pachilai and Karudar Kuri Kashayam are effective against poisonous bites. Herbal powder and herbal mix are popular products of the Kani community that are sold even to outsiders. Steam bath, a recent establishment in Mylar settlement, attracts scores of people to get herbal treatment. A mixture of 102 medicinal plants is used in the steam bath to treat various skin and health problems.
the naturally grown herbs and medicinal plants are nature's best gift to the Kani community living in the Western Ghats. Their extensive knowledge in using these medicinal plants is passed on from one generation to the next.